All right now, welcome to SC Custom Designs. We are back at it. We're going to be uh, making more bandsaw boxes. So I've done many episodes on creating bandsaw boxes. And the main reason it's a bandsaw box is because you make it out from the bandsaw. You cut every piece from a bandsaw. It's hard to believe uh, when you're looking at like a big block of odd wood like this, essentially, um, I was given a ton of, say about 20 pieces uh, of like this, some bigger, some smaller, uh, from my neighbor. And so they say, could you use these? I said, absolutely. And this is a perfect example of that. So my wife wanted me to make a bandsaw box out of this particular piece and uh, not sand it or do anything like that, which is which is a first. Um, so maybe the rustic feeling and the look is what we're going for here. Um, so yeah, remember, when you're done using your bandsaw, lift the arm, take the pressure off the wheel. Uh, may take it a while to get into that habit but if you leave the pressure on the wheel the blade especially the smaller ones are going to put lines in your in your wheel that's not what you want so i put that there every time i'm done uh using this so what i'd like to do um, is rotate the camera around and we're going to um show you the, all the pieces of this this bandsaw box for all intents and purposes um it's all done as far as the cutting goes and the rest of it is going to be assembly uh assembling the pieces so let's just go ahead and uh lower this a little bit enjoy the ride down all right so Here's this block here, and I had, I have and, and had some challenges with this piece, this particular choice chunk of crude wood here. Um, what, what the challenge is, is that there's cracks throughout the whole deal. So I want to lower this a little bit so you can get the whole picture here. So yeah, there's cracks. But, uh, and I already dealt with, with some of them, um, but hey, we might as well take advantage of this time to, to, sh to explain uh, what, what's the first cut and what's the last cut when you're doing a bandsaw box. For this particular unit, okay, the first thing you do is you chop off the back. So, you know, so that's that. Once you do that, then you, um, you chop off the top okay these steps are specifically for this this unit um, and then um, and I made this and I'm going <laughs> and then what you're going to do yes is cut the drawers out okay so the first drawer I cut out was this one that was a no-brainer okay so that's that piece there that, that was uh, solid, okay? And then what I did is I entered here at an angle, and the, the trick is to, is to try to conceal where you enter in so that you can, when you glue it up, you don't even know uh, where you cut into. And that's the, the beauty of the bandsaw boxes, the mystery. It's like, how did you do that? What do you mean that was cut out of one solid piece of, of block? All right, so what I did is I went in this way with the grain and I uh, proceeded to go down and started to cut the actual drawer down here, came around like this, okay? And then, and then I stopped where I entered, all right? Now let's take that chunk out, this chunk of wood. It's in pieces now, but it wasn't, you know, I'm just trying to go through all the steps for you. Uh, okay, so 
So that was that chunk of work. And now here we go. Now imagine I'm going to be able to more than likely pull this back together with my clamps and make it nice and tight. And that's that. So now we can see the pieces. Put it back together. And now we're going to make our drawers. So taking the top one, for example. So this piece was cut out. Then what I do is I cut off the front and the back piece from the block. And then you set those aside. Then what you're going to do is hollow out this space. Voila. Space hollowed out. This here, don't throw it away. You can make nested boxes from this piece. So in other words, I can make, you know, maybe three, and with leaving me some substantial wood, three pieces, and then I can make nested boxes that go one into another. So that, that, that actually sells. All my nested boxes I've sold, uh, trays, whatever you want to call them, and uh, the, the, the users will come into your vendor tent, whatever, you know, table, and you, you can tell right away when, when it bites them, and they're like, oh my gosh, i got to have that. And um, I've made all different sizes. You can look up those videos in my, my 800 plus videos. You can look up the, those episodes. Um, so yeah, don't throw that away. Now, voila, look at, there's your box. There's your drawer. And your drawer is going to go right in. The, the beauty of this, you know, if you've not ever done a bandsaw box before, the beauty is the piece that you cut out, um, I don't know what I'm trying to do right now besides fumble around. Let's just put it over there. Um, it's going to go exactly back into the space it came from. So no worries. I know when I first started my bandsaw boxes, you know, um, I was very nervous that the, the piece wasn't going to go back in. Well, it has to, you know, unless you do something really crazy when you're binding up and sealing up this main piece here, these pieces, it's going to go back in there because um, it was cut from it. So that's the deal. Now, and here's, here's the other one. What is the duct tape, the duct tape? What is the painter's tape you're seeing? What's that, what's that all about? Well, what happened? Well, look at that. Imagine what I can do with that. So, okay, that's really cool. Um, I had a, I, ha I have a problem, and I'm going to show you the problem. If you take this back piece and look how thick it is, I did that intentionally because of that crack. Look, look how deep that is. Let me come back here and make sure you can see what I'm saying. I'm glad I came back here. <laughs> um, so look at that. So I could literally break this. No, with no problem. Oh, I did. Look at that. I might as well because I'm going to have to glue it back anyways. All right. So that transferred to these these blocks I cut out. So I, as soon as I cut the piece out, they fall apart <laughs> with that crap. So that's what this here uh, wasn't so bad. Uh, this one here it was. So that's what. That was all about. I instantly just glued it up. I did all this last night, in, yesterday evening, uh, Saturday evening. You can see some some of the glue there, um, some of it there. Um, but when I when I sand that down, you're not going to worry about that. Now that I use Gorilla Glue, and that's on there solid. That's what I want. In this case, it's going to my wife. Um, you know, if it breaks in the future, which I don't think it will, um, I can fix it. But but I don't want to give that to a customer and have something break on me. Uh, here's the other one. It doesn't look pretty. Um, all it joined up, but I'll, that's the beauty of sandpaper. Sandpaper is like forgiveness. Right, so let's take that off. I should have put my LED lights on so we could see more. 
but you could see how severe that is, hopefully. How severe that is right there. Okay. But it's solid. Oh, is it solid? It's not. I'm going to have to do that again. Oh, and guess what? It's it's not breaking where I glued it. There's where I glued it. There. It's not breaking over here. So it's a good thing. So what you do is just pull it apart. You don't have to pull it apart all the ways. Um, get the glue down in there. Pull it back in. And go for round two with this piece. So that's how that works. So if you've not ever done bandsaw boxes, I'm going to take you off. Forgive, pardon the jerking around there. So there's all my pieces. Then I sort of take it all apart and just you know, make a little pile here. You, you might not even know what in the world this is. You, you know? So it's just sort of play, place it like this. It's like, what is that? Actually, I did a video <laughs> once. Um, I took one of my bandsaw boxes completely apart and I said, let's, let's try to guess what this is. At what point in the video do, can you know what this thing is? And it was really fun to, to just reverse engineer it, put it back together. All right. Thanks for watching uh, another episode of Missy Cousin Designs. You like what you see? Give us a thumbs up, uh, click the bell and you'll get a, re not a reminder you'll get a notification that a new video came out and we'd enjoy that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, be honored if you subscribe. And we will uh, definitely get back to your questions. When I say we, me, I don't know why I say we. Um, I will get back to your questions. And uh, I love dialoguing with y'all from around the, the globe. It's, it's a lot of fun. I used to live uh, in the Middle East myself. I, he was my second language. I lived in Asia, I lived in Hong Kong, and learned Mandarin, a little bit of Mandarin. So uh, I, I got friends from all over the world from living six years in the Middle East. So I love the, the idea that I get international community. So I'm going to say my, my usual goodbyes in five different languages. Shalom v'cha, Hebrew, Masalami, uh, Arabic, Tultzins, Afrikaans, um, Tzajin, Mandarin. We'll see you later. Take care. Thanks for watching. Next video that we do will be uh, pretty much putting all this together and it'll it'll be together. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Thank you. Bye.